Okay, so by now you've seen the link that I emailed you welcoming you to the Trello board, and you're probably wondering what the heck that is. So the Trello board is what I use with any customers who we're doing an install with, and it's how we sort of manage what my responsibilities are, what your responsibilities are, and also track any questions, changes, anything else like that. So it is dead, dead simple to use. It's part of the reason why I love it so much. So I'm going to go ahead and just walk you through it real quick. So here where it says Sample Client Board, in this case it will have your last name, um, Revolutionary Gardens, it's obviously my company managing the board, and Private just showing again that this is only visible to those of us that have the um, the link and the permissions that we've done on that. So it's not visible to just anybody who wanders across it online. Now, the way that Trello works is you can actually set up uh, you can actually set up cards within lists like we did here. So I've created a master list, designer's responsibility, and homeowner's responsibility, and then questions for designer. So what we mean on each one of those, so designer's responsibility, that is anything that I owe to you or to the project to keep things moving forward. So in this case, I've got noted on here, final deck drawings for contractor. Um, you know, in this case, we're doing a deck, so we need to go ahead and have those so the contractor can take them to the county and get the permits. Um, plant recommendations for front door, um, same sort of thing. I need to go ahead and put forward what we're going to do for plantings there. Um, schedule pool builder, same thing. Um, just again, anything that I have to do goes there. And the convenient thing about this is that this way, um, you can see at a glance everything that you are still waiting on from me. I can see at a glance what you're waiting on from me. And that way, you know, you know that I'm not missing anything, that it is getting taken care of. And if for some reason there's something that I owe you that's not on there, it's dead simple to go ahead and add a card. So you can just click on add a card and just type something in, something as simple as, um, let's see, um, you know, order new door. And then just click enter, and there you go. That creates the card, and so now I've got that showing up in my task list. Homeowner's responsibility, that is going to be anything that I need from you that's creating a choke point that we can't move forward on uh, without input from you is going to go there. So in this case, uh, we're doing a stucco wall, so I need to know stucco color. So that's something that I have up there, so the homeowner needs to get that to me. Um, this one, deck boards, needing to know manufacturer choice and color based on the samples that we dropped off. And the really cool thing about this is if you click on the card, it expands it. And it shows you everything that's in there, and so you can actually see uh, we created a checklist here. So this may be something, you know, obviously when you get a checklist like this, it won't be checked off, but you may say, you know what, I want to do a Cape Cod gray color, and I want to do it in Fiberon, and that's going to go ahead, and when you make that change, it goes ahead and it pings me, it lets me know that you've made an alteration to a card that way. Um, you can also type a comment in here. Um, and just, uh, you know, whatever you want to do, just type in a comment there and then click comment and it logs it and it actually keeps it all in a log here. So that's why I like this because we actually have a thread of what's going on on the project and all these conversations without having to just refer back to a whole bunch of emails and all that. Um, and then questions for designer, that'll be things that, you know, maybe not be critical to how we're moving forward, but things that you need my input on. Um, so for example, this is a great example. Let's say that um, you came across an art piece that you just absolutely loved. And so you can create a card and you can actually say, you know, in this case, can we use this in the courtyard? And you can actually click on attachment and you can attach images. And so the great thing about that is, you know, it's anything that I find that you need to look at, I can attach that image. Anything that you find that I need to look at, you can go ahead and attach that image and it's just it's really really simple and if it's something that you know maybe the designer of the the artist on this piece has said look you know I need to know by Friday um, you can actually go ahead and create a due date um, so it's it's a really really powerful system it's easy um, and what I like about it is like I had mentioned anytime that I make a change it's gonna go ahead and email everybody anytime you make a change it's gonna go ahead and email everybody so that way we can go through and we can make sure that we're all on the same page and everything is getting done. And eventually what we'll do is as things are done, we'll actually add a completed tab. And then that way I get the deck drawings done. That moves over to completed. You pick your stucco color. That moves over to completed. So again, we're not going to delete these or archive these. We still want these to be visible. 
but that way we've got a record of what's going on and we can manage this project a heck of a lot easier. So any other questions, go ahead and shoot me an email or give me a call, but this gets us set up and um, you know you can go through your own list and we'll go from there. Thanks.